scientists have shown us that humans can live for at least 150 years. But why are so many people dying at the age of 60, 70, or 80, when they can live for twice as long? How would you like to add extra 50 years to your life? Think of all the things you can achieve with 50 extra years. Impossible? Let me tell you how the science of nutritional immunology can make it possible. Let me ask you, why do we die? Is it because of old age? When we die, our death certificate will not say we died because we were too old. It will give a reason such as cancer or heart attack or another serious illness. So usually we die because of an illness. Illnesses don't just shorten life. They reduce the quality of life. The World Health Organization says that there are 1 billion overweight people in the world today. About 300 million of them are obese. Obesity is a disease magnet. It attracts a risk for at least 30 other diseases like cancer, diabetes, and stroke. Every year, cancer kills 7 million people. There are 10 million new cancer cases every year. In fact, every 30 seconds, someone gets cancer. Every 50 seconds, someone dies of cancer. Heart disease kills 16 million people. Diabetes affects 177 million people. In the year 2030, there will be twice as many diabetics as there are today. Sadder still, so many children are getting adult type diseases. There are 17.6 million children under 5 years who are overweight. More and more children are also getting diabetes and high cholesterol. Unless we do something about it, one in every three kids could become diabetic. Is someone in your family going to be one of these statistics? I have a girlfriend. She doesn't worry about falling sick at all. When I ask her why, she says, doctors today are very smart. Drugs today are also very advanced. I can fool you one day and get better the next day. So why worry? If that was true, why do people still die? Won't everyone with cancer survive? Drugs cannot guarantee a cure. Drugs also give harmful side effect. Sometimes the side effect can be worse than the disease itself. Recently, it was reported that up to 98,000 people die annually from mistakes made in U.S. hospitals. Many of these mistakes were wrong drug prescriptions. We must know that many diseases today don't have a cure. For example, SARS killed 900 people in 2003. Bird flu kills three in every 10 people infected. Why isn't there a cure for SARS or bird flu? SARS and bird flu viruses are mutated viruses. It is very difficult to find a drug that kills them. If a drug is found, when the virus mutates again, the drug might become useless. Even the common flu has no cure. Every year, up to half a million people die from flu. Flu drugs don't kill the flu virus. The drug only shortens symptoms by a day or two. Think about the time you had a cold and a headache. The painkiller you took did not kill the virus, but still, you got better. How? During the SARS outbreak, some people died during treatment. Others on the same treatment survived. Some cancer patients live for years, although doctors tell them their days are numbered. How is this possible? It is not magic. It's not because of drugs. It is because of the person's immune system. The good news is that all of us have an immune system. In fact, with a little bit of help, we can use our immune system to prevent almost any disease in the world.
The human immune system is the best doctor in the world. When the immune system is weak, we fall ill easily and may take a long time to recover. But when the immune system is strong, we can resist illnesses without a single sniffle. Now, let us take an amazing journey into the immune system. Are you ready? Let's go. The human immune system is not one specific organ, cell, or biological substance. It cannot be found in one area of the body. Instead, the immune system is a complex collection of lymphoid organs and cells all working together and releasing different chemicals at different times. The immune system is extremely complex, but it is so well coordinated that it cannot be copied by man or machine. Think of the immune system as an army where different battalions come together using different weapons to fight enemies. The immune system works 24 hours a day to protect us from enemy invaders like bacteria, viruses, parasites, pollution, and even our own dead cells. The bone marrow and the thymus are our main lymphoid organs. The bone marrow creates red and white blood cells. White blood cells are our immune cells. Like an army trains its infantry, Air Force and Navy. Our thymus trains immune cells called T cells to perform specific functions. The immune system also consists of peripheral lymphoid organs like the tonsils, spleen, lymph nodes, and appendix. For example, swollen lymph nodes under the arm show that our immune cells are fighting an infection. Now, let us look at our very protective immune cells. These cells are immune cells that shoot specific missiles at invaders. These missiles are called antibodies or immunoglobulins. In this animation of a bacterial invasion, these cells jump into action by releasing a bacteria-specific antibody. This antibody locks onto a bacteria and kills it. Another interesting immune cell is the macrophage. The macrophage is both a messenger and a fighter. When it sees enemy cells, it will call other immune cells to the battlefield. It fights enemies by grabbing them and swallowing them. Look at this macrophage. See how it engulfs a dead blood cell and then returns to its normal shape. join in the fight. One powerful T cell is the NK cell or natural killer cell. It kills enemies by releasing certain chemicals. In this animation, the NK cell seeks and destroys the cancer cell. So you see, the immune system is highly intelligent. It works around the clock to defend us from deadly enemies. Without the immune system, we could die in a matter of hours. But why do so many people still get terrible diseases with such a strong army inside them? It is usually because they have a malfunctioning immune system. Most diseases are caused by a malfunctioning immune system. The immune system can malfunction in a number of ways. When the immune system is weak, we get diseases like flu, hepatitis, infections, and cancer. When the immune system overreacts, we get allergies. A respiratory allergy might make us sneeze, a skin allergy might make us itch, or a food allergy might make us vomit. Another example is a self-attacking immune system. The immune system attacks our own body cells because it cannot differentiate between enemy cells and friendly ones. This causes autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. 
Let us see some examples of a malfunctioning immune system. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. The immune system mistakes our joints as enemy cells and tries to destroy them. Invaders can enter our body at any second. A cut in the tongue or skin creates opportunities for infection. Thankfully, our immune system is always working to protect us. Pollution and dust creates risk for lung cancer. The immune system defends us, but when it becomes weak, cancer cells could start to grow. There is currently no effective drug to stop hepatitis. We must depend on our immune system to fight such foodborne viral infections. A diet rich in plant foods keeps our arteries clear for the immune cells to flow smoothly. But a high-fat diet can clog the arteries, jeopardizing the immune system. A malfunctioning immune system can create disaster in the body. These pictures help us realize how precious health is. Without health, we cannot see our children grow. Without health, we cannot give our loved ones a happy life or achieve our own dreams. You must be thinking, how do I stop these diseases from attacking my family? How can I ensure that my immune system is always strong and healthy? There is a special science that can help you. It's called nutritional immunology. Nutritional immunology studies the effect of nutrition on the immune system. What type of nutrition does it study? It is not basic nutrition like protein, carbohydrates, fat, vitamins and minerals. These nutrients are easily available to us today. Instead, nutritional immunology looks at three types of nutrients. These are called antioxidants, phytochemicals, and polysaccharides. We can only get these nutrients if we eat a large variety of plant foods every day. Nutritional immunology studies the types and species of plant with the most antioxidants, phytochemicals, and polysaccharides. It studies the parts of the plant with the most nutrients. For example, if you are going to eat grapes, don't throw away the seeds. They are rich in OPC, a very powerful antioxidant. And if you think ginseng root is very powerful, I've got a surprise for you. The ginseng berry is even better. Nutritional immunology also studies the best age to harvest and best ways to process plants to stop nutrient loss. For example, mushrooms must be harvested when young but cactus is more nutritious when it is older. Soy must be heated well, but cactus cannot be boiled. Let us look more closely at antioxidants, phytochemicals and polysaccharides. Antioxidants help to delay aging. The risk for diseases rises as you age. A diet rich in antioxidants can give a 50-year-old the immune system of a 30-year-old. Many different plant foods have high levels of antioxidants. Grape seeds and roses hip are good examples. OPC, the antioxidant in grape seeds, is 20 times more potent than vitamin C and 50 times more potent than vitamin E. Phytochemicals help us to prevent all types of diseases. Phytochemicals in cactus help to heal one faster. Soy is very rich in phytochemicals that improve cholesterol and suppress cancer. Ginseng berries phytochemicals fight obesity and diabetes. Polysaccharides are long-chain sugars that prevent cancer or help existing cancer patients to get better faster. Pearl and mushrooms are rich in polysaccharides. Some good mushroom examples are ABM, reishi, shiitake, yunzi, and maitake mushrooms. Some people ask me, can you get all of these nutrients from a vitamin bottle? In order to be effective and well absorbed by the body, these nutrients must be obtained from wholesome plant foods. Yes, 
You might get antioxidant and multivitamins, but these are not natural antioxidants. They might have been extracted from plants, but isolating them makes them a chemical or a drug. Such chemicals can give toxic side effects. For example, beta-carotin or vitamin A is an antioxidant found in carrots. A study in Finland showed that smokers who took beta-carotin pills had more risk for lung cancer than smokers who didn't. But then, when we eat lots of carrots, we don't experience such toxic side effects. Many people ask me, do healthy foods make such a big difference? Yes, studies show that eating nutritious food and exercising more helps to prevent at least 30% of cancers, 80% of heart disease, and 90% of diabetes. My friends ask me, will plant food give me enough calcium and protein? Yes, soy, for example, has more protein than the same amount of eggs and meat. Soy has plenty of calcium, too. My friends also ask me, can my kids grow to be tall and strong on a plant food diet? Of course. Look around, and you'll see the dinosaurs, the elephant, and the giraffes. They are all vegetarians. You see, nutritional immunology is a very complete science. It has discovered and is still discovering the various benefits of the plant world. By teaching us to keep our immune system strong, it proves that prevention is always better than cure. Preventing diseases also helps delay aging. I urge you to start today. Here are some simple things you can do. Exercise often. It increases limb circulation and improves immune function. Even if you can't exercise, breathe deeply as often as you can. This also improves limb circulation. Don't let stress affect you. Stress makes the body release corticosteroid, which suppresses the immune system. Eat a large variety of wholesome foods that contains antioxidants, phytochemicals, and polysaccharides. Relax and smile more. And I promise you will start seeing results very soon. With such healthy habits, you can live till 150 years old. I invite you to apply the science of nutritional immunology in your life. Make your life more meaningful with at least 50 extra years. Experience the joy of playing with your great-grandkids. Think of all that you can achieve by leading up to 150 years. Share what you've learned with your loved ones. Together, let us make this world a happier and healthier one. Thank you, and best of health.